Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Hit it, Frank. Everybody and welcome to another episode of Bra Motherfucking Topics. I'm your host Kim Congdon here with my co-host Alex Scarlato. We have a very special episode for everybody today. We're super excited to introduce this guy. You fucking know him. He's one of the two owners of Gas Digital Network. He's on the Legion of Skanks podcast, Real Ass Podcast. He's a professional fighter. Yo, MMA rap. Uh, yes, he's tr- currently training in the NBA of video games. That's true. He's an he's a former Ellis Mania champion it's lewis j gomez wow what an intro holy shit that was very professional ladies we're very professional you know i put i'll put all our problems to the side for that monday baby I know you will. <laughs> thank you for coming in today lewis i had to or kim would uh uh, uh me too me <laughs> <laughs> so you know she's got a lot of evidence you and know i really just have to do whatever she says that's just sort of my life no matter what happens as soon as we hit that red button that record button he knows he's safe that's why he likes it here <laughs> yeah, i know when the cameras are on kim can't hurt me <laughs> so <laughs> no, obviously, love being here. Love broad topics. Love you guys both. Um, yeah, very cool. Very Hell exciting. Yeah. Freezing outside. It's Hate fucking that. cold. It's the coldest day of the year. Yeah, we're three 30 year olds with beanies on. Well, yeah. People in our 30s with beanies. It I, seems like very immature to me. It's immature. And I wonder if our pussies are colder this week today than they were last yeah, week. Yeah, the thermometer's I truly, out. I truly feel like my pussy would be colder than it was last week. Last the episode, Lewis, Alex and I had a contest. I don't know. We're trying to get you Shannon. Want to know whose pussy was hotter. What? We we <laughs> want to get Shannon and Natalie involved and want to find out who has the hottest pussy. So you're going to use digital. like one of the, we the thermometers? We did. We, did we used thermometers. We in used the mouth thermometers, but in we your just slipped yes. in. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah we, we did. did. No, you didn't. Yeah, we did Alex was even like, we're not allowed to do it. Question. Yeah, we're not allowed to it's a new table. We can't touch the thermometers you anywhere guys, near the table. First of table. all, you guys can rub your pussies all over this table. <laughs> Ralph's slags cannot. It's a little different. At least I know where your pussies have been for the most oh, part. Oh, when she said we couldn't do it, I said, now I'm doing it. <laughs> well, no, it's not It's not a problem about... Uh, pussy I know, juice. I understand uh, the pussy problem. juice should be the problem. No, well, Ralph's girls are like spitting poo out like in the shape yeah, of disgusting. a water fountain. These are hookers. Yeah. These are fat hookers that yeah. are that are putting their shit and piss on my table. We have clean cum. Yeah, this is just... Yeah. You guys are... You have a relationship li- cum. A little, ga- a little hometown gas digital uh, juice. That's not going to hurt nobody. Who a little the wor- juice never hurt nobody. True. Who, who had the hotter pussy, number one? Wait, we, we wait. want you to guess, yeah. first of all. <laughs> <laughs> number two, how is this not a clip of the show? It that's... hasn't come out yet, so oh. we're, we're just taping recorded. a bunch of episodes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, Should we... I give a spoiler or no? I feel like first, you shouldn't tell me. before you guess, well, this episode's going to come out after, after that episode. So it'll be fine. Oh, okay. So don't worry, baby boy. We got it all timed out yeah. perfectly. Um, what do you think? Uh, first, I want you to guess, what do you think pussy's range in? Not, not that I would want to do this. And I would say 90, I think it's the body temperature. He's so like, I not think that 90... I would want to do this, but I should have held the thermometer. <laughs> well, I'm saying, uh, could do you think... A human could put their fingers inside of both of you and tell which one is warm. That's where this started. That's that's that was my question. That's what I'm going to come from. (laughs) That was my question for G Mike. I was asking him if he had all of his exes lined up and he were uh, blindfolded and they were on their hands and knees. Could he dip and know the pussies from each other? From the warmth or just the pussy? In general, it was the difference. And then he said maybe from the warmth. He said maybe from the warmth and that shocked us because I thought we'd all be around the same temperature so we had to find out. Um, so I think that pussies in general are going to range between 97 and 100 degrees. That's, That's a just huge range. No, because I think bodies, yeah. some people some people are just warmer bodied individuals. My body temperature is always a couple degrees warmer than everyone else in the house. When I'm, we do. I'll say this right now. Com- if your pussy is 97 degrees, kill yourself, bitch. You got some cold well, ass we also pussy. Compared oh, you have our, a hot pussy. We also compared you guys got our some mouth hot temperatures to find out if our pussies were hotter How than our How many mouths. thermometers were right involved? Now, we went, we went <laughs> mouth to pussy. Yes. We did one thermometer, <laughs> thermometer, but we did it in the right order that didn't make yeah. us too much of whores for the episode. We went mouth to pussy. We went mouth and then pussy, but we did. Do the pussy on air. Two thermometers, mouth to pussy. But we did do the pussy on air. And the funny part is when we did it in our mouth, it took like 20 seconds for the thermometer to beep to be warm enough. And when we put it in our pussies, I was like fast enough. We I said one word and it was like (laughs) (laughs) both of them went off like fucking fire alarm. Kim's was like the cartoon where like the red just shot straight through the glass (laughs) and started spurting everywhere. 
<laughs> so, um, so pussies are, all right, so what I've deduced from just the conversation already is pussies are substantially hotter than the average body temperature. A little bit hotter. They're a little hotter. Okay. Average temperature. So pussies gonna, were both hotter than our mouths by at least a degree. I'm going to guess that Kim has a hotter pussy than Alex. She hates that, but... Everybody tends <laughs> well, to guess Kim's that. Well, Kim's thick. She's a thick girl. she got those thighs. That butt just keeps that pussy hot. She has hot pussy energy. You're, she's got hot pussy energy. Yeah. You're you're a, you're a thin little cold pussy bitch. That's just the way I... <laughs> That's exactly the nickname I gave her in the last episode. <laughs> cold ass pussy, chilly pussy bitch. Uh, you know, I'm not being... like This is, might be an inappropriate conversation because you are my employee. But if I had to guess, your pussy is a, just a tad bit icier than Kim's. I think it's a reasonable guess, but it's wrong. Wow, you have the hotter pussy. I have the, hotter, the pussy. hotter pussy. I ran ninety nine point two, ninety nine point six. I ran ninety nine point eight. Yeah, wait a minute. I you was ran right. ninety nine point eight. I was right you about, were right the, about the range. To you were right yeah. about the range, but it's a big range. Ninety seven to one hundred is a huge difference. How hot was your pussy? So 99.6. Mine was 99.6. Hers was 99.8. Kim's yours was 99.2. Alex was 99.6. That's what oh. I thought, yeah. Point four. Uh, can I, do we have one? Can I see how hot my asshole is? Does <laughs> you, it compare to oh, one right behind We you. have a third one, and we would love to see how hot your asshole can is. Can we see if my asshole's hotter than Kim and Alex's <laughs> If your pussy. asshole is hotter than my pussy, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be so upset. fucking livid. <laughs> <laughs> not happy. It only takes a second. The, you have yeah. a fever and you have COVID if your asshole's hotter I'm, than my do pussy. I, I have to do it here in yeah, front of yeah, you guys? Yeah, you have. No, G-Mike. Put, brought up his coat and made a blanket shelf for us. Yeah, we just shielded ourselves from G Mike and quietly <laughs> like inserted right them. G Mike, open it. Are you gonna, you gonna make me open my own thing? What type of producer do you guys have? <laughs> yeah, G Mike, G -Mike insert it into my asshole. Yeah, G, G Mike, get your hands all over it. There Thank you, you go. So hold on, you do this, and what you all press. you do is turn it on, stick it in your ass, and listen for the alarm. What is it, my fucking prom night? <laughs> 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 How are you gonna get it in there? Are you pulling your pants it down? It says seven. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Test it in your mouth. Yeah, do mouth first. Yeah, because you don't want to go ass to mouth. Mm -hmm. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, no, I, nobody knows what he might. Mm -hmm. See it how long take it takes. A long time under the mouth. It was comically quick for our pussies. It was like a bit, almost to the point. Did you push the button? Mm -hmm. Is it reading temperatures? Yeah, it says ninety six point eight, but there's no beeping. Oh, now it is. Now it's beeping. Okay, ninety six point eight. That's low. You all right? What's going on? <laughs> I think you pulled it out a little too early. What is it, my prom night? Come on, guys. I'll say this joke all day. All day I'll say this joke. Okay, stick it in your ass. What is it, my prom night? <laughs> How do I do this? Alex can't see my ass. Pull your pants Neither down. can you, Kim. So just go go down the pants from the not back. You giving me not, not you giving me not consent to last minute. <laughs> Oopies. <laughs> So what do I do now? I pull my pants down. <laughs> okay. Do I go into my asshole? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little. It's Just the tip. Very... I mean, this is nothing compared it's to a... Nintendo controller. It's nothing. You're, you're, honestly, it's yeah. This is a warm up for when you eventually. By lose the way, I'm genuinely butt. thinking about just getting my asshole ready for a gun in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> because it's gonna Anal suck. Training it's an... gonna suck if he does it. So if I just get used to that gun being in my butt and I just open and it's already gun shaped for him, <laughs> he needs to pre shape his ass. Really committed to that. Bit. Get it in the hole. Hold on. And All push right. the button. We got to listen for the beep. Oh, you got to listen. You got to push the button. Yeah, yeah. you have to push the button. Right. And wait, it'll get hot fast. Listen. Shh. Everybody's. Shh. Shh. We'll hear it. Shh. Are you okay? I like the way people's facial expression changes when something's inserted. Why is it a beeping? I don't know. Your your heart is it in there? In yeah. the hole? Did you push the button? He just likes it in there. He didn't even push it. He just wants extra time. I push it again. Okay, now wait. There push it goes. There you go. Oh, wait. I push the button. Oh, that was the button. That button. was the first push. He literally just had it in <laughs> it his asshole like for pleasure. It seems like you want it in there <laughs> for longer. <laughs> you keep turning it off and on. Why are you hard? <laughs> he has a thermometer in his ass. <laughs> Why is it a peeping? <laughs> Harrington, can you come check to it's see? It's off. You, <laughs> you keep turning it off and on again. Damn it. Stop pushing it. Oh, oh, it's so gross. <laughs> oh, it does that poop on it? No, but I'm going to go wash my hands in a second. Holy oh, shit. man. <laughs> Turn to the side. Give us a little side skin, please. You're, you're there. You got it. Let's see. What is it? 
100 degrees. Wow. I have a hotter asshole than either of your pussies. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. Very nice. You're the hottest asshole I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> wow 100 degrees wow i take it back we were fine to put anything in our pussies at the table we should do more of this he did it the way that we were like will we ruin our careers will you ruin our reputations he was like you got a thermometer i want to try <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just didn't even me and alex even after we recorded that episode we were like should we take it down we we made g mike send us the footage and rewatch it which <laughs> it's fine we're it's very mild yeah it's very mild and i'm glad there was not a lot of movement when we put it in our pussies but the like i felt myself actively trying to not make an expression no me too when, when i it was we were talking no well, we were talking yeah. about how when you slip it in and you actively make your face do nothing well we were trying not to be too sexual when we we were fucking worried when we did that episode we're like it's too much did you guys too sexual. so you didn't see each other's vaginas no we we opened we just sat here and pushed it in our pussies from a seated position yeah from, with okay, our so it looked on. like this yeah. Got it. Like Were you wearing skirts or are you wearing like sweatpants pants, or something? Pants. Yes. Leggings, yeah. All right. Well, wow. I well, have a hot asshole, guys. You have the hot. Do you, so you, I'm wondering. You might have the hottest asshole at Gas Digital. Maybe. I think we should all make all the guys and all the girls test do their assholes. By the way, there should be a thing that you do. You should keep a thermometer <laughs> like COVID test. at all times. And whenever you have male guests on, you should rate their. I was 100 even. So you should have an ongoing chart of, of who the has hottest the hottest assholes, assholes on broad <laughs> topics. that have ever been on broad topics. And That's the hottest a, pussies. Yeah, honestly, you could do that. You could have a pussy chart and an well, asshole chart. Well, this is what we wanted to start the... Uh... Or, you know what? What would be assholes? Women have assholes. I guess so. It's so fun to measure your pussy. That is true. Yeah. I gotta tell you, it's a discovery everybody should have. Mate, you guys can do dick holes. That's psychotic. <laughs> that would be very painful. Um, we wanted to do the pussy playoffs. So it was like a tournament, like a uh, tournament we style. So Shannon it was me and, and Alex, go against each other and next. And then Shannon and Allie, and then it would go the, the winner... Of those two, and we could see who has the hottest. Right. Or, yeah, or Let's it could say. just go by temperature. Let's say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about it. March sadness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, I got a gift. Should I open it? Open your gift. I think okay. you gave everyone a gift on the show today. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you for your. Thank you for including your asshole. Thank you that, for, add, for being needs, the first to add to our chart is a big deal. You need to. Now we have a credit a at clip. least. That needs to be a clip. It will. Not be. mine. Leave that out of it. <laughs> but, Jesus Christ. Well, who sent this to you? Um, this is from my my boy. Uh, he's you know Slormer from Twitch. Nope. Uh, yeah, it's from my boy Slormer from Twitch. Ooh. Shout out. Your gifts. What is it? It's really hard to tell. Oh, it's really nice chopsticks. Is this for Paco? <laughs> 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 he bowed to me from the room. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. I fucking love this. I did think, oh, I just mentioned I wanted a pair of chopsticks and he must have heard chopsticks, me on the stream. Sister. That is so nice. I love Thank that. you, dog. Look at this. I bet chopsticks are a fun thing to collect. Well, this one's like put in his ass. Dope as chopsticks. <laughs> Alyssa, we're done with the ass segments. Calm down. <laughs> oh, wow. You have eight ass spears. <laughs> that's fun. Hell yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I Man. I really want to hear um, about you guys, what what you were saying before the show about Palmer Squares at Skank Fest. <laughs> I desperately want to know. Oh, huh. <laughs> you, you, Liz, you tell them. <laughs> Kim was trying to fuck Palmer Squares. <laughs> Not the whole Palmer Squares. Kim was trying one to half. fuck. Kim one, was trying to, I was trying to fuck one square. She was trying at to. Skank fest. She, she, she was trying to fuck one one half a square. So it's a triangle. No, it's was, squares. She, so just one square. Well, it would be. Is it, is it a triangle or a rectangle, a depending half, how you cut it? That is true. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is there three squares? Well, it would be a Palmer it, triangle or a Palmer rectangle, depending yeah. on how you cut a square in half. If you were to have a square in any way, it creates two rectangles or two triangles. Oh yeah, yes. but he looks—he's like, more of the triangle. I would he's say the two of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I fucked the tr the. Tr I, I was trying to fuck. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I was trying to fuck the triangle of Palmer squares. Yeah, it it. So she was trying to get me to go we to truly him. So you she, hold on. She was she had a crush on him, okay. <laughs> and you thought that he was not going to be down for it because he loves being at Skankfest and didn't w would want to respect 
the fact that you're Lewis's ex. I found out that Palmer Squares came to Skank Fest because they are Legion of Skanks fans. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, oh, no, we we met them initially as Legion of Skanks fans. We I found out about mm. them because they did a rap video mm. and uh, Acumental. Is that his, how to say his name? Is that the one I was trying to fuck? No, the other oh. one's Josh. I know one's real name and then one's uh, rapper name. Stage name. Okay. Yeah, which is hilarious. So funny. Acumental and Josh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but they came in and they were wearing uh, a Legion of Skanks t-shirt in the video. Um, and somebody was like, oh, you see this? This is like a pretty known like rap. They were like underground, but known underground like rap group. And they like, they're wearing your shirt. So then they came to the the uh, the creek one day. And then, um, yeah, that's how that all came about. So then we invited them on the show once. And then we invited them to perform. But So I was trying to flirt with this man so hard. I You're, remember that I was part. negging his candy choices. He I started say, asking him his top five chocolates. He kept saying, I want the cowboy. <laughs> I was on acid and I kept saying, I, do. I want that cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a cowboy hat the whole weekend. But also us, the accents we do all the time, being in Houston, it just finally made sense. It was great. Yeah, um, yeah I, at one point he was ignoring me in the green room. I threw a Whopper at his head. A uh, hamburger. <laughs> That's what I pictured. I threw a whopper at his head, and I was like, "Hi." Yeah. And then, and then I told you, I was like, "This guy won't fuck me." He won't talk to me. And then you were like, "Can you like go sign off on it?" I said, "Can you give him your blessing? Give him your blessing to fuck me." Uh, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess." It's That's a nice so nice. Guy. Yeah. You That's know. really nice. Was he he didn't. Lewis didn't. Well, I didn't go. It was a weird conversation. <laughs> well, I've, it's a conversation every father needs to have. No, no, no. <laughs> we, no, we. What I said was, I would give him if it was necessary. I would give him my blessing, which is I said, right? Yeah, go like for if it. he came up to you and was like, yeah, or, or if him. he said to you, he's like, hey, you know what? Like, I don't want to, you know. Or if you got that vibe, I would have a hundred percent. Like, I'm not fucking you right. know, protective like that. And he's actually a really good dude, um, but he turned you down, so. He did turn me down. He told me. <laughs> I asked him on the last night. I was like, why aren't you talking to me? No. I was like, why I just want to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on acid. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this is why. <laughs> yeah, he's like, You're a psychopath. Leave me alone. <laughs> and he had a girlfriend. So he's yeah. a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good boy, which made him even hotter. I was like, <laughs> I, did, I stopped trying to fuck him and as soon as I found out he had a girlfriend. Yeah. But I was like, wow. And he's loyal. Good for him. Good dude. Good, Good dude. dude. Great musician. Hot cowboy. Great boyfriend. Did Muay Thai? Did he? Remember he fought in Alice Mania? Oh, yeah. He did he fight fought. in Alice Mania. Look, she didn't even care. She no, because attention. I was looking at that other dude. Which other dude? That fucking hot Asian fighter. Yeah. Oh, Alan Joban? <laughs> <laughs> I would suck his dick off. <laughs> Straight off his body, and I'd keep it. It's he'd, my dick. He'd never fight again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, Alan Joban's a former UFC fighter who, uh, he like models, like, yeah, he's like. He was the hottest person I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I saw this dude. Oh my God. Pull up Alan Joban. He was so, he, I pulled him up. He's less hot at, in pictures than he is in real life. That's a problem with a lot of us. Yeah. Everyone in this room, that applies to, by the way. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks pretty good there. He's got high ass cheekbones. Uh, it's like, that's the day, just, that's the day before weigh ins. He's fucking sucked his out. His eyebrows are so nice. Yeah, he yeah. does not look Asian to me. He looks, he looks really, half Asian. Yeah, he looks yeah. really Asian at Skank Fest. Like Hawaiian, but Hawaiian or. But that's like when you put a bunch of peep, white people together and you put one person, they really, the, the, other side of yeah. them extremely yeah. comes out. Yeah, you also, look African half, at half, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I look like from, a, from the South Sudan. Yeah, Kim dude. should have a fucking bone in her lip at Skankfest. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So. When um, did this come out? Next, like th next week, I think. By then, we would have already in announced like Skankfest Skank location. Oh hell yeah! Oh fuck yeah! So you can say it. Is it scary? Yeah, but what if it falls through and then? Here's the thing. We haven't signed the deal memo. It's all It's in, in Cleveland. Everyone. <laughs> it's in Cleveland, he told me. No, we announced it weeks ago. It's in Vegas. Woo! Downtown Vegas. If you Hell guys yeah. have ever been to Fremont Street, it is dirty, dirty Vegas. It's I'm old school mob Vegas. Skankfest no. in Vegas where we'd never have to go to sleep. It's going to be the best. I think we're going to end programming at midnight every night so people could enjoy Vegas. So we could go out and gamble. We go out after. and gamble every night. That's fucking so programming. Fun. So well, I'm gonna, we're going to probably come a day early and leave a day later. So it'll be like a I'm full... going to come the whole time. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Especially if that Palmer Triangle's there. You bring that Palmer cowboy there, I'm going to throw a whopper at his head and suck his 
think I'll f- draw. <laughs> I'm like so violently sexual this episode. It's like, calm down, Kim. <laughs> no, Vegas could be wild. I don't know if you, you've you been to Vegas? Yes. Yeah. We went together. We all oh, went we together. Did. We all went to fucking I was there too. It was the best trip, dude. We had the it most fun. It was one of the best trips ever. It yeah. was so fun. Downtown is so much cooler than the strip for Vegas. Downtown Fremont Street, it's like. I love Fremont Street. That's where I stay every time I go to Vegas. Exactly. It's where the freaks are at. It's on, the venue's on Fremont Street. We will spill the and shows. And it's easier we'll get out. to walk. It's easier to gamble because the places are right next to each yeah. other. And if you're going to like. Uh, the strip, you have to walk so far from casino to casino. It gets exhausting. We and also we the Skankfest miles. vibe. You yeah. have to understand, like, if you know Fremont Street. We're $5 Street, tables, people. If you know Skankfest, if you know our it's vibe. It's going to be you know, so fun. If you know Fremont Street, it's literally Fremont Street is designed for Skankfest. It's just the, the, the weirdest fucking people. It's a bunch of fucking lunatics. If you want to find drugs, it's pretty goddamn easy. Alex and I are going to do a hottest asshole at Skank Fest contest. That's literally a great idea. I love that. I love how she just got herself booked at Skank Fest. Just like that. <laughs> Thank like, you, Kim. Great idea, Kim. Sign it. Let's the hottest go. asshole at Skank Fest. We have to have we'll 3,000 thermometers. We'll, we'll try to get a sponsor to donate a big prize for the hottest asshole. Maybe love an it. asshole sponsor love it. of some kind. Love mm-hmm. it. Love it. Can you, whoever has a hotter asshole than Lewis... Gets in the ring to fight. I'm up him. there. My asshole is. You're running really hot. But yeah, yeah but imagine if they go deeper. You have to be. Brave. Well, I was running cold in my mouth. But it's, yeah, we're a couple degrees cooler. Can you guys tell that? Remember, with blowjo- do blowjobs feel colder than pussy? He said yes. <laughs> colder? I mean, I've never gotten a cold blowjob. It's always warmer than your dick. I, I guess, just for but... the first time in my life recently, I noticed that you can tell. If a chick's brushed her teeth recently while getting blown, it feels like minty ice. Tingly. It does. It has a minty ice feeling. That's fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun. I can a tell way. if a guy's been chewing gum recently if he eats me out. God damn it, it figs. Figs, yeah. I'm on air. I'll be off in like 20 minutes. I'll call you back. The disrespect of men. Look know, at he them. He just keeps calling. Look at that. You know what? Calling. I would never. You think I would answer on his podcast and say, what? He just keeps Alex. Calling. Oh, okay. He's dying. He's like, please, I'm choking. <laughs> I'm choking right now. You're the only person near me. I'm right outside it's Gas Digital. Someone else calling and you're the emergency contact. Yeah. He's dying. Are you guys yeah. anybody's emergency contact? I am Dalton Pruitt's no, emergency not. What a contact no, to not. his family. It all happened. I don't even want to say too much. It all happened at Skankfest. He was having a little bit of a panic attack and he was on the phone with his mom and yeah. it was going bad and I could tell. So he put me on the phone with her. Whoa. So... I have that going on. I am Alex's mom's emergency contact yes. for some reason. Bobby Hutch is too, and she it, she has no idea she has how no she idea set how the both it happened. Us. But one day they both got emergency calls for, about my mom. It made me so nervous. Yeah, we both are like, we think her mom's dead. <laughs> what, was, what was the emergency? <laughs> there was she, pussy was, running too she hot. She was like, I made extra lasagna. Are you coming <laughs> home tonight, Alex? Daddy wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Kim seen how I am with my family. It's disgusting. Her parents. Are they super over Italian? Dude, when she was living with her parents, they would, every day when she left for work for Gas Digital, she lived there her whole life. She sees them every day. It's really hard to get out. They would, it's it, shocking that it's I ever make it here on time. 25-minute goodbye. They walk her to the car. They kiss her four times at the window. They stop. They wait at the garage till she pulls out down the street. Then they call her. Was she my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> What is it, prom night? Come on, like all these jokes. <laughs> Don't you cover up that joke with your what prom you night about? joke. Prom night, prom night. <laughs> <laughs> woo, 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 prom night. Ah, a lot of noise. <laughs> ah, new joke, new bit. What's the new thing? Air horns. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me the thermometer. <laughs> ah, <laughs> he just shoves a thermometer in his ass again. Look, we're doing this again. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Uh. Where? How did we get into this? Oh, emergency contact. Yeah. How do we even start talking about that? I have no idea. We just flow. I'm a very good podcast. <laughs> we do <guy>. flow. <laughs> we do flow. Wow. Yeah. Look at us all flowing. I also. I really want to tell Lewis about last night too. Oh yeah. Because that's so Speaking good. Speaking of prom night. <laughs> 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 it's, it was Kim's birthday yesterday. We didn't even know. Dog. There's this dude that messaged me on Instagram. I became a sex worker last night <laughs> by, accident. So, by accident. He wrote we, me fully there were, in. There were four women in the room, and every one of them was like, Kim, if you don't do this, we will all be angry. Yeah. Right, what happened? <laughs> First of all, I'll say this right now. Everything does have a price. Everything. Everything has a price. Did he buy those pussy thermometers? <laughs> no, but no, I, we, we talked should. about selling them. them. Yeah. Well, we talked about. In the we could dip that another one. Option. <laughs> yeah, we could always dip one. We could dip in. anything. Honestly, just simply a Q-tip in there retains the smell. Drop it into a little baggie. I will. Su- I will start sell. a side business on podcast merch of all. I will sell solid. my pussy Q-tips 
for, for how much? A hundred dollars a Q-tip. They they retain actually plus, and you have to pay for your own. Shipping. Can you get her a Q-tip? Can you get her a Q-tip right now? Can we see if it retains the smell at all? Harrington. Harrington. <laughs> There's, Q- I think there might be Q okay, Harrison, in there. Harrison's no, acting no, like he's not. Harrison's acting have... like he's not listening. He's like, whoa. I mean, uh... First of all, we're not gonna have Louis start making putting what? things in us on our own podcast. What? what? I'm just What's saying. What's going on like, here? We're gonna get, we're gonna get a pussy. Q-tip. We need control. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Broad topics. Q tips. One in you. The other side oh, in Alex. Oh shit. One Q tip. Both <gasps> cents. Oh shit. Whoa. That's actually huge. That's, That's huge. huge. That's a five hundred dollar Q tip. Now right this. I would do on this episode and see if Lewis could smell a difference. <laughs> we don't say who's who, but we just know. We, we mark them no. with colors. <laughs> Ew. Harrington, go get a fucking Q-tip right now. <laughs> you go get a fucking Q-tip right oh now. Oh my Thank God. You. <laughs> no, you mark one end, right? So you know the, the one with the black ring is the is it... is Kim's, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I knew that was going to be mine. <laughs> Kim, Kim's pussy leaves a ring around it like a bathtub. Um, no, no, no. Uh, we, no, you you mark the one end so we know which end is which, and then you go dip in yours. Then the other side, dip yeah, in yours. Yeah, we understood when you said that. What the he's just procedure. so excited. He's going. <laughs> no, 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 I don't care. Like, why would I even want to do? We this didn't bit? need the step by step. It was pretty simple. Why would I want to do this bit? Who cares? It's so gay. Anyway, if you guys want to do it, we could do it. Like. I, we can't stick things in our pussies two weeks <laughs> in a row. Two weeks in but a row. Damn it. We're not. You're gonna give this bit to another guy? That's crazy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Do you would you would do you think you could smell the difference? Here's the reality. Could <laughs> I could I draw Kim's pussy smell back to my memory from it's like smelling it again? It's like an old song that you heard. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's I have a joke. Soup. <laughs> I have a joke in my act now where I, I talk about how your sense of smell is your strongest memory sense. Mm-hmm. So I talk about my friend when we were twelve and letting me smell his girlfriend's pussy, um, so I can draw that. Smell at any given pussy. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> well, me and Alex will be selling these Q-tips. This is a brilliant idea. Actually. Yeah, it's literally a brilliant these, idea. These Q-tips Can are we... for sale. Yeah, uh, they're five hundred dollars. You for get two, two pussies. I'm sorry, it's five hundred. After it, what it, happened last night, that's nothing. After what happened last night, it's pennies. Well, let's see what. It, let's see. Maybe we'll, we'll, let's put a pin in this. Just put a Q-tip in it. And... Ow! <laughs> 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 All right, you guys, let's take a quick second and thank one of our newest sponsors. It's Shine SD. Finally, the sales team at Gas Digital has gotten us girls an underwear sponsor. Shine SD is one of the internet's favorite brands, and it's the ultimate underwear brand to match with your man or woman or partner or whoever you want to match with. Uh, it's time to ditch that little red number and spice up your va- Valentine's Day outfits. Say goodbye to the mushy, gushy flowers and chocolates this Hallmark holiday tries to shove in our faces and say hello to Valentine's Day clothes you've never seen before that actually embody the holiday. I could almost guarantee you've never seen a matching couples ensemble consisting of smiling condoms, bananas, and positions that require stretching before trying. Shop Shinesti's matching Valentine's Day outfits for couples because nothing says I love you like covering your genitals in matching emojis, foreshadowing what's going to happen after too much of that wine. Shinesti doesn't stop at just underwear. They've got ski suits to look your hottest on the slopes this winter and all the beer gear you could possibly hope for, as well as NFL team apparel, too. Uh, check out their website at Shinesti.com to see all the cool stuff they have. And while you're there, be sure to use the promo code BROAD, B-R-O-A-D, for 10% off your order and free shipping. That's S-H-I-N-E-S-T-Y dot com. And use the promo code BROAD uh, to check out what they've got. They've got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Underwear, NFL stuff, beer gear, ski suits. They're kind of all over the place, but it's pretty dope. Uh, Check it out. All right, let's get back to the show. Go ahead. Um, okay, so this guy hits me up. On Instagram. And he's hit me up a right? bunch of times before, and I have just mostly ignore him. Maybe what does I, he usually say? He usually says, like, love you, mistress, or things like that, or, like, I'll be your simp bitch, or he'll, like, say he's going to give me money, but I usually don't believe it, and I go, sure, you know, or whatever. He hits me up last night, and he says, I venmo you. And I check my Venmo. Let me open up his messages. Mm-hmm. You I should... Ch- and I check my Venmo, and he Venmos me three hundred and fifty dollars, okay. just out of nowhere. And I go, cool. Well, let me let me pull what it a, up. What a what a life being a woman is, huh? 
Yeah. You just wait. So he says, he says, I Venmoed you. And I said, oh, wow, thank you. Simp- uh, I, and I, or he said, have, cause, oh, he sent me like $300 like two weeks ago. And he said, can you just say I have a little dick on your podcast? And I wrote back, maybe. Cause nice. I'm just like, you can't demand things. No, no, I like that. No, it's good. He wants to be demeaned in a weird way. I'm yeah. sure that was yeah. sort of like. Yeah, it's the whole thing. So I no. said, maybe. And I Did never. He, do you, have you seen his dick? No, I've never seen his dick. Well, you should almost be like, you should almost, if, if someone's giving you the money, you should see his dick. I, we're gonna, can you let me tell yeah, the sorry. tell a damn sorry. story? Sorry. Listen, I'm intrigued. <laughs> so so then <clears throat> so then he said, "Did you mention me on the podcast?" I never wrote anything. Then he wrote, "I Venmoed you again." So now he sent me three hundred dollars to say something I didn't do. Then he sent me three hundred fifty dollars. Said, "I Venmoed you again," and I said, "We're, we're recording tomorrow, Simp King." <laughs> Simp King. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And he and then he corrected me and he said, "Little Dick Simp King." Ooh. <laughs> and then I wrote back, "Tiny." Tiny Dick Simp King. Yeah. And then he came. So then six then hours said, later, we get a message. Then he said, I haven't even shown it to you yet. And I said, I do not want to see it. Nice. And he said, $500. And I said, $500, I'll allow you to send a picture, but I won't reply. Yeah. And then what did he say? And, he, and, and, and then I said, and I also will show it to all my friends I'm with, and we will laugh. Because <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll get 600 <laughs> And he said, I sent 750 Wow. So now we're... And she's checking her Venmo in between all these messages. He's like, he's, he's the real send- deal. He's sending it. So now we're at uh, $1,400. 1450 $1,450. He goes, I'm pathetic. I said, so pathetic. Aren't you embarrassed? Yeah. Then he sends his dick, and I just put the throw up face. Can I say? Yeah. Let me see his dick. Oh, it showed a little. We got to maybe blur that out. Let's see. Yeah, it's pathetic. It's not a good dick. It's not a good dick. I didn't even look. It's not great. He's going to send you money for saying that. (laughs) It's not a good dick. No, 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 not good. That is below average. Look at all of us. He is loving this. (laughs) Oh, mommy's going to get paid for this. (laughs) Hey, listen, you got a little dick. I don't know if it turns you on for me to say it, buddy, but that's a fact. I said, got to make fun of that thing on the pod. I'm showing Alex. (laughs) (laughs) Look, the sky is blue. The grass is green. You have a little dick, sir. He said, you could screenshot this whole conversation and post it, and I would honestly nut. Wow. Pathetic. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I bet you'd love that. And then he said, how much to video call? 1,000, question mark. <laughs> so I said, I'm with all my friends. We're going to laugh at you. He said, are they all female friends? I said, yeah. He said, I'm down. I said, mm, I don't know. He said, do you not believe me? I said, 2,000. Whoa. He said, fuck me, LOL. And I said, ha ha. He said, 1500 question mark. And I said, 1750. <laughs> and then he said, please accept 1500. I'm begging you. And I said, 1500 for 60 seconds. And he said, okay. And, and sent, sent 1500. Did you transfer this to your bank account yes, already? Instantly. You transfer that it's shit. Already in. You're not fucking. It's, it's gone. already in. Because there is a thing that Venmo does now where you can get money back instantly it's in my Good. bank account. Good. Fully. Good. It was the first thing I did. Good. So then, dumb he's... little dick bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, I'm also, let me tell you, I'm also feeling a little weird too, because I sort of feel like this is a, it's sex work, no? Yes, it, it does. It's on the borderline fringe sex work, yes. It's like but I'm digital... kind of not doing anything. I'm calling him a bitch. I am getting him off, if you but were so send, does my Instagram picture. If you pictures. were sending somebody your socks, it's sex work, right? If somebody were yeah. to pay $100 for your socks, should I be ashamed? No, I would. That's, I would do that. I it would, would be a missed opportunity to not have, take this money. If this I, guy hits you up, you are going to do I that. I would one hundred percent do it. I am doing pretty well for myself. I don't need the money even. It's just so such it's, good why money. Why wouldn't it's I take thirty five hundred dollars to look at a guy's dick? It's, so then he hits. He oh he he doesn't send it. He says the bank thought it was fraudulent. Give me one second. You had to call the bank. He had to, to call the bank off to conf- and then <laughs> while he's the, edging. Then he says, "Do I have permission to come in this one minute?" And I said, "No. Wait till after, like a loser." Wow. That's good, right? That's wow. powerful. Well, I would have wanted to come if I was him. He said, I sent it. Can it just be between me and you? And I said, uh, I said I'm said, i here with my friends. He said, please. I, he, I said, I won't show you them, but I'll answer without them in the video. And he sent a crying face. And then I, I, uh, and then I uh, rolled my eyes. So then he video calls me. I have Alex in the background. Yeah, she marches me upstairs to take a look. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, just time me. And she's got a we timer. We started on. the timer so that one minute. <laughs> and we're I done. answer it, and I go, "All right, what?" And he's like jerking off, and I go, "You're honestly." He disgusting. didn't say a word, by the way. He no, he tried to talk, and I said, "Don't talk to me. You didn't pay for that." 
Wow. I was good at it. Wow. I was good at it. Wow. Kim's and, a dom now. Yeah, I'm a dom now. I was like, don't talk to me for that. You're so disgusting. I would literally never touch your dick. It's so small. You have, you're jacking off fully with one hand. I don't yeah. even see your dick in your hand. And she's like, like, how sad is this? I can't believe it. And then that. Alex oh, yeah. turned the phone around. It was a minute and two seconds. I just hung up. Yeah. Well, yeah sure. <laughs> I didn't even say bye. I just no. hung up. Then he wrote back. Uh, oh, first he calls before all that, and I don't answer. He says, I'm sorry, I'll wait till you're ready. And I said, wait. And yeah, I said, yeah, wait on me. Then I made him wait an hour after no, he sent me all no, the money. No, Yes, I'm <laughs> yeah. so good at this. Before the first call, she we, he waited an hour. So he just kept up a boner for an hour? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then he paid, so then um, he says, so, so then um, I want to do small penis humiliation. So that's why I was making fun of his dick. So then he calls, I say that, and I said, I definitely am talking about this on the podcast, so pathetic. And he said, can I watch you twerk? Oh, no. Afterwards, he said, that was so great. Can I pay you for another thousand? For another minute. Another, another thousand minute. for another minute. And I forgot to mention. To double down. I forgot to mention, he paid me 500 extra dollars to not have Alex in the video with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So now we're at 45, 4500. 49.50. 49.50. Right. And <laughs> you're so good at that. It's fucking good money, yeah. dude. <laughs> and, and then he says, can I send you another thousand for a 60 more seconds? And I said, yes. No, no, you tried to propose. He wanted two minutes. Oh, and yeah. So you said... Two for two minutes, you have to have your video off, or you could do one minute video on. Yeah. So she's like making deals now. <laughs> she got a menu, <laughs> and it's always a little unfair, she's which is what I developing think. Developing her business strategy in real time last night. So then he then he <laughs> messages me ten minutes later, and he says, "I I'm I used all my money for the week, which I think means he came. I think he was edging, trying to get to that next conversation, and he came and decided it wasn't worth spending that extra thousand. Oh, he came. Yeah, sure. yeah. I think oh, yeah. he came, and then this morning he hit he texted me and said, "Can I watch you twerk?" I wrote, "Fuck no," and he said, "How much?" And I just ignored him. Wow. And if he wants to see me twerk, it's going to cost him seven grand. I mean, five grand in one night for one jerk. To sesh. watch you twerk, that would be. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. I that's have to twerk. Lot. Yeah. Seven grand. Can you twerk? Ten, seven grand's kind of low. Can you twerk? A little, yeah. Twerk off camera for us, and we'll let him know if it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Kim twerk. Can I, can I get some twerk music? Yeah, can we get some twerk music? <laughs> I want to hear it. Pants. It doesn't mind. Oh, yeah. she's, getting, no, she's pulling her pants gonna... down, folks. <laughs> Fine. Those are twerk pants. <laughs> Those are twerk pants, actually. If I've ever seen them. Let's see. i got to spread my legs. Oh, boy. What, is, right. it? what is it, prom night? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. She gets work, boys. Worth it. Boys, she Worth gets it. work. Is it going to yeah. be in just your pants or in your underwear going to twerk for him for seven grand? Um, Give it to him in your underwear, you bitch. The, the, Boy shorts. The thing that's no. scary is that somebody that he could screen record it. That's the part that's like... And then I'm twerking in she my would, underwear. She would twerk on camera for nothing. <laughs> I just did it for free. <laughs> like, I took a video. I watched and I smiled I, at him. Can I explain to you something? He's not going to post it. Can I explain to you why? He likes being humiliated. He that's his like he's paying for it. why would he want to share something with everyone that he paid for he can go just look at her ass on uh, on her fucking latest TikTok right. I do have twerking videos on yeah TikTok. like it's he's not like yeah, he's paying for his own video so that's not a problem he wouldn't he wants he likes the it. thought of me personally sending it to yeah. him dude yeah. five grand it's worth it no that's a lot of money no he spent four grand last night for a minute on a video. twerk video could be ten a seconds cold a cold pussy bitch would think that <laughs> <laughs> I have the hottest <laughs> pussy at this table <laughs> Lewis besides your <laughs> Besides my asshole. Besides your bussy. <laughs> <laughs> my bussy. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it insane. Was, I mean, I almost I made forty. F how much? Forty nine fifty from him Something in like the that, last yeah. week. Yeah. And you know he's coming back for more. He already hit me up this morning. What does he do? I don't. We don't. You don't I, need to look into him at all. You, you don't, don't know what his face looks like. No, I know what his face looks like. We know what Let his dick looks say. like. I'm not gonna sh obviously don't show the camera. He'd love that. Yeah. Don't give me too much money. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Venmo's probably like this whore. Let's see. Also, the, f the <laughs> fact that how to not show my Kim was in a room with three girls who are all trying to mask their jealousy over this situation. Like we Everybody all just was furious. At me. <laughs> my cousin, Macala, me and a, friend. and a mutual friend. Yeah. He's not a bad looking guy. No. No, he's just. Pathetic. Sick, He's just dude. pathetic. Sick. Sick. Sickness. Because like, like, uh, I don't know. Do you think he wakes up in the morning like regretful that he just spent five thousand dollars? No, on he last woke up this morning off? and said thank you to me. 
That's crazy. The first dude. thing he did was thank me, and I said, "Good." You know, I kind of am gonna start hitting him up anytime I spend money. I'm now. I'm just looking at all the other girls that he's given money to, and I'm like, I know what this is all for. There's no <laughs> way. There's no way. Does, is well, it public is just on Venmo? Somehow I get it back. He's in my text. Did he do it public <laughs> or private on Venmo? Uh, well, mine's private, but his his other ones are public. He likes to be. Look, it literally he says sent SPH. it to this chick. For S- small penis humiliation. No, is that Two what it was? Yeah, it says SPH trick. there. SPH? Like in the Venmo. Uh, to the other girl. No, comment. is she hot? Let me see her. Ooh, Kim, you jealous of this bitch now? I wonder how much you paid her. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> I have the money to do it now. Kimmy, you're not the only one. <laughs> Are you getting a little jealous that there's some other I am a little pissed. pissed. She was getting a little bit into it last night. There was a point where she was like, should I text him back? I'm like, Kim, this isn't a thing like that. Not me <laughs> fixing my hair before he video she called. Was, <laughs> she was fixing her hair. I was like, I don't think he cares. I like to look good all the time. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Yeah, I would not be ashamed of that, dude. I th- I would be ashamed if I missed that opportunity. That was so much money. It's, it's a few months rent. It's yeah, perfect. it's over two months rent. Um, yeah, that's fucking wild. Good for you. Take me to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Every person you've told this story to has said, give me money or buy me something. Every person yeah. without fail. God damn right. You did nothing for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did something. That's how lottery winners feel. I, I had to answer the phone. I just did that on your podcast and you got <laughs> mad at me. I know. I told her I did that by accident for a fan a couple <laughs> years ago. I answered a random incoming video, call, yeah. video call from Instagram and the guy was jerking off. <laughs> and I was just intrigued. You made, you're like, she you're stayed like, and watched. I stayed, I stayed and watched. I was like, what's happening? She yeah. said she liked it. You liked I didn't, it a little. No, I didn't like I did not say I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say I liked it, but I was like, no, it's not ha- intrigued. But she, she oh, did. You know when you, it was. I was long. curious. It's confusing at first. That happened to me on a live one. Yeah, I was doing an Instagram live, and someone requested. I was like, oh, someone probably wants to join in. Like Kim, I love you. You're so funny. And I answer it, and this dude runs to the back of the wall, takes off all his clothes, and just starts jacking off. That's hilarious. And the whole chat's like, ah. <laughs> we were all traumatized together. Wild. It was kind of nice being assaulted with like yeah. my fans. Yeah, like like um, chat roulette used to be. Like you don't switch it from the dicks right immediately. You take a good look at the dick. Like you want to at the naked roast battle, but can't. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I went on chat roulette during the pandemic a few times just because it started going it's viral fun. on TikTok. Yeah, and it is fun. And I was on it one night alone, and I ran into someone who knew me. Like a fan? A huge fan. Wow. He literally, his jaw dropped and he goes, is that Kim Congdon? And the first thing I said was, I'm glad I wasn't jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on chat roulette. It's really? So oh, you, you would, of all people, would love it. I mean, it. We, I it's wish a... we could go on it now. Can we? Probably, we? You can make it a show. Can like, we go on chat roulette? Can we go on chat I'm roulette? I'm checking right now if there's a way to get the cameras attached. Okay. Oh, uh, man, it is so fun. It's a lot of dicks, but you can go to like adult chat roulette or regular chat roulette. It's also kind of fun when somebody is trying to, he, somebody, people will trick you. They'll make it seem like they just want to talk and then like they'll pull their camera away and their dick's been out the whole time. <laughs> That's it's fun. wild. I yeah. obviously ones where it's like, it'll go and it'll be people like zig heiling. Like, oh, I thought you dirty N word. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you never know what you're going to get. It's really, it's a, it's a surprise every time. Yeah. It's never bad, but yeah. um, we'll probably have to do that a uh, another time but it's yeah the idea of uh just, just beating off in front of i'm not i'm not really uh her seeing my dick isn't what's turning me on you know what i'm saying it's not that i've had i've had phone it's sex. you seeing I mean, somebody, her that's turning you on it's yeah me seeing her and i guess like like i'll be like fine you can see me too technically fine yeah it's fair like but, fair's fair like yeah like it's not like it's always kind of awkward to be like hey look at my dick while i jerk it like i don't know like I had a dude send me a photo of his entire fist in his asshole recently. I got that same picture. Yeah, he's sending it to all the girls in comedy. Like he just likes that we're looking at it. His entire <laughs> fist, this like, whole up thing, to here. up to here. For if sure, it was a thermometer, it would have beeped quick. <laughs> <laughs> his hand must have been hot as hell when he pulled it out. <laughs> that man reaches a hundred easily. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. People are fucking weird, dude. I, I got recognized at a Japanese restaurant in my uh, in my hometown in Jersey. Mm-hmm. But it was like, it was, uh, I mean, it was perfect. There was the like, the hottest girl ever works at this place. So I'm get my order, right? And just as I'm, I'm talking to her, some guy that works there as well, he's like, are you Luis J. Gomez? And I was like, yes, I am. And he's like, oh, I'm such a big fan. Dude, he, like, he, it the was. The perfect wingman. It was perfect. That's what you want. If I was single, yeah. it would have been, it would have been like done. I'm yeah. like, hey, it's just so you know, this is life. It's <laughs> it's on. She was so fucking hot, dude. I just know he's meeting that girl for lunch later. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I have been. I've gone in the place every day since. But uh, 
Well, this was fucking fun. This was great. This is fun. I always have Lewis, fun with you thank guys. you for coming on to our podcast. You gals. We know that you've been a fan for years. I have been. You, uh, Lewis is actually a big Broad Topics fan. He listens to our episodes. It's one of the only podcasts that I listen to. I love that. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you. Yeah. Um, just making, just keeping my tabs on Kim, making sure she's keeping everything <laughs> on the He wants to make sure his secrets are good. He <laughs> wants to make sure everybody's coming to him with See, blessings. Luckily, me and Kim have like two or three secrets on each other that we could hold over each other's heads. So oh, it's I know. Like, What's going to happen is eventually it'll just implode. We're both so angry, though, that we'll eventually go, I don't care. I'll ruin everything for both of us. I hold my fucking breath when we're all together. (laughs) I swear to God. Every time. No, she's great. Yeah, he's great. I'm sick. We got to get out of here. Louis, where can people find you? Uh, Yeah, check out all my pods. Realize Podcast, Legion of Skanks, Yo, MMA Rap, and the Gas Digital Network. We have 20 shows on the network that are incredible. Subscribe to Gas Digital. Use the promo code TOPICS. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I've dedicated my whole life to Gas Digital. It's that dope. Yeah, it's fucking ama- amazing. It really is a great network, and it has some of Not the best Alex podcasts. Not trying to get a bonus. <laughs> <in the world. laughs> Please. Um, yeah, thank you guys for having me on. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Queen Kong One. My PC gets delivered today, so by the time you're hearing this podcast, I'll be all set up. Come check me out. If you have Amazon Prime, you could subscribe for free. Um, and check out my other podcast with Sarah Weinshank called This Bitch. Um, and as usual, ja, always keep checking out episodes of Broad Topics. And Alex, what about you? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Alex Scar, and check out my other podcast, Stick and Portly Watch Rick and Morty, every Monday right after Legion of Skanks, only on GasDigitalNetwork.com slash live. Uh, and head to podcastmerch.com where we have some dope merch. We got Whoa. some tie dye, mushroom, trippy ass design, as well as some simple stuff. So whatever your style is, there's something there for you. All right. All righty. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.